pagiging mompreneur. Sobrang hirap, pero laban lang. Hi, my name is Nike Nadal Reyes. I'm the owner and creator behind New Key and Company. I am a mother of three, a wife, a homemaker, housekeeper, labandera, cook, yaya, tutor, lahat na. <laughs> My mornings are devoted to them. When I get up, I immediately do kitchen work. <laughs> Kasi prepare na ako ng breakfast. Gigisingin lahat. Assist them with online class. And then while they're in class, yun yung time ko to do house chores. After nila mag-breakfast, dikpit na ako nyan. And then after that, lunchtime na. <laughs> Luto na naman. In the afternoon, that's when I have the time to do my thing, to crochet a little, work on my business. After a few hours, prepare na ulit ng dinner. <laughs> Usually, I finish everything by 9. The kids are ready for bed. That's the time when I work out. I have to work out kasi it helps me keep my energy up kasi I need the energy. <laughs> That's my me time when I don't have to think about anything else anymore. That's the time when I go up here in my mom cave. I work out here. Yun, that's the time when I can wind down, yun, get ready for bed. <laughs> Before, yeah, it was a struggle to keep the routine. Alam ko na kasi yung benefits. The benefits far outweigh yung momentary tamad. <laughs> because the kids are all here all day, walang tigil din yung kain. <laughs> so yung hugas ko ng plato, wala ring tigil talaga. At the start of this pandemic, I spent the whole day talaga nasa kitchen lang. Because I was still adjusting then, medyo nawala na ko ng time to make stuff. So, natigil din yan yung pag-create ko. Pero at that time, I, it felt okay lang naman for me. Kasi nga, I was adjusting and I had to prioritize the kids, my family, and I was just Thankful then na healthy kaming lahat. And nandito lang kami sa bahay, yun. Sobrang hirap. <laughs> kasi, yung, yung eldest ko is homeschooled. Pero yung dalawa kasi, enrolled pa rin sa school nila before. Pero online classes. Pero kahit online classes yun, kahit may teacher, maku pa rin yung <laughs> kailangan tututok sa kanila to push them to do their homework. Tapos, dahil distracted sila, online lang lahat ng class, hindi nila na-absorb yung lesson. So, ulit, tuturuan ko pa rin sila. Dom na yung trabaho ngayon. Kasi, mom ka na nga, uh, entrepreneur ka na, tapos teacher ka na rin ngayon. Tutor ka na rin. For mompreneurs, ang goal natin is to manage time and energy, di ba? Ang challenge is to make time for your business. So, what I've discovered, lalo ng yung pandemic, yung mga tools <laughs> and things that helped me a lot. Nung nauso yung mga online budol-budol na yan, <laughs> nabudol ako dyan sa lahat ng yan. Pero I can say na sobrang sulit nila. Um, number one is, kunwari yung dishwasher. We're a family of five. Imagine, if we eat three times a day, that's 15 place settings na. Tapos wala pa dun yung pinaglutuan mo three times a day. So, lahat yun, huhugasan mo. Takes me 40 minutes to an hour para lang maglinis. So, when we got the dishwasher, sobrang savings. <laughs> savings sa time, sa energy, hindi na ako ganun napapagod. And actually, nakasave din sa tubig. <laughs> Again, online budol. Yung air fryer na yan, slow cooker, lahat yan. Nabudol din ako dyan, pero sobrang helpful din. Hanggang ngayon, ginagamit ko sila. Ang saya ko na nakakaluto ako ng masarap, ha? Tapos nakaka-workout ako while cooking or nakakapag-crochet ako while cooking. Lahat na nakakadali ng buhay, vacuum, Kaya sa walis ka na walis. Before kasi, iniisip ko, gastos lang yan lahat. Pero, when you think about the returns and yung energy and time na masasave mo, sobrang sulit. Another useful tip is to exercise. Pag regular na exercise mo, mas madaling i-manage yung energy and you actually gain more energy throughout the day. Nakakatulong talaga with mood. Kasi kung kunwari, buong araw ka na naglilinis ng banyo, nakaka-bad mood na yun, di ba? Another one is, get the family members to help you out. I tell the kids na, you have to help me na. Kasi hindi ko na kaya. Online grocery! <laughs> I'm so thankful na, na meron ng online grocery kasi, andali, di ba? Sa bahay na. Tapos, andyan na lahat. Time blocking. 
uh, before kasi, pag mompreneur ka kasi, ano, sabay-sabay yan, no? You're, you're thinking about your kids, you're thinking about the house, and you're thinking about your business in a day. Pero, what helped me was, I allocate time. Kunwari, mornings, I decided na i-devote ko yung time ko for the kids lang. And I won't think about work. Kasi before, I'm help- helping them with homework. Pero iniisip ko, I, ha- I need to do this, ganyan. Nagkakaroon ka ng resentment in you. Parang hindi ko na dapat ginagawa to eh. I should be doing this. Pero, when I started managing my time and doing time blocking, kunwari, binlock ko yung morning ko na for the kids lang. Tinrain ko yung sarili ko na, okay, I won't think about work this morning kasi I, I devoted this time for them. And then in the afternoon when everything's done doon free na ako to think about work or whatever I want to think about kasi tapos na yung obligations ko sa ibang bagay. So it helps to block your time para hindi ka tagugulo, hindi ka nasisiraan ng udo. <laughs> Try to maintain then a good uh, sleep hygiene. Hindi ka matutulog out of pagod. Find the time to wind down before you go to sleep so you don't go to sleep stress. That's the time I take out my hook and crochet. Yung crochet work na medyo hindi kailangan mag-isip. Yung mechanica lang. Yung simple pattern lang. Kasi yun na, na it helps me wind down. And then while crocheting, I usually listen to audiobooks. Tapos yun, aantokin na talaga ako. <laughs> uh, another useful tip, go easy on yourself. Lalo na yung mga nanay. Gosh. I don't know why, but we pressure ourselves into doing everything. Especially at home. Tapos kung mompreneur ka, expected ka to, to keep the house clean, maintain the house. Tapos manage the kids, help the kids with school. Tapos business ka pa. Siyempre, expected of you to earn din. Parang, bakit ba? <laughs> bakit ba kailangan lahat tayo? So, uh, my tip for moms is go easy on yourself na kung kaya, then go. Pero, kung hindi mo na kaya, okay lang din. Pag nanay kasi, lalo pag stay at home mom, ang daming ginagawa. Uh, the moment you open your eyes or hi, minsan nga nakapikit ka pero gising na yung utak mo, umaandar na siya, iniisip mo na, okay, ano nang lulutuin, tapos wala pa dun yung business mo, wala pa yung sarili mo dun. So, it helps to have a plan, which I learned naman from from doing business, na maganda yung may plan ka, tapos naka-itemize yan. Pag nanay ka, and you have mom brain, lahat yan magulo lang sa utak. But when you lay out the plan, for kahit for the day lang, mas madali ang buhay, kasi you don't have to think about everything. I wanted to design clothes but I didn't know how. So, I decided to enroll sa ano lang, short course lang sa sofa. Na sinuportahan din naman ako ng husband ko doon. Ngayon naman, nag-enroll naman ako sa short course ulit sa UP, Accounting for Non-Accountants. Adding value to yourself, it really pays off. Sa akin, ayoko maging stagnant. You can only grow when you step out of your comfort zone and invest in yourself, add value again. When you add value to yourself, your the universe will match you. Kunwari ako, I used to think na kailangan binab- uh, brush off ko yung thing ko, yung business ko. But I've come to realize that they will learn from this also. It matters to pursue your interests or your passion. Kasi kahit hindi mo yun ituturo sa kanila directly or verbatim, ganyan, they will grow up witnessing you working hard or going for it. Al- alam ko, ugali ng mothers laging hinuhuli yung sarili. Pero I think it's about time that we realize na hindi, wala dun yung value. <laughs> wala doon yung lesson. Ang importante kasi masaya ka eh. Your kids don't need a perfect mother. They don't need a perfect house. They don't need hotel level sarap na food. Ganyan. They just need or want you to be happy. Kasi pag masaya ka, they can feel that. Tapos, okay na sila doon. Kahit hindi ka perfect in your eyes, you'll always be the perfect mother for your own kids. <music>